I am Thomas and I am at the Maple Grove Cemetery, Kew Gardens, New York, in Queens. And I'm um, here to talk about a, a revolutionist and someone that changed the, the mindset, that helped change the mindset, I believe, of America. And that's Martin Branner. You might not know Martin Branner, but he was a cartoonist. He uh, helped create one of the cartoonists for Winnie Winkle, the breadwinner. There you see a comic strip of Winnie Winkle, the breadwinner. So before you had Working Girl, 9 to 5, the Mary Tyler Moore Show, or even Our Miss Brooks, which each featured single females in a mostly male world of business, you had Winnie Winkle, a comic strip. She was the working, the iconic working girl of the 20th century who first appeared on the comic strip on September 20th of 1920 in the comic strip Winnie Winkle, the Breadwinner. The 19th Amendment, keep in mind, granting women the right to vote in the United States had only been ratified a month earlier, on August 18th. So August 18th, and now in September, you have Winnie Winkle, the breadwinner. Women have the right to vote. Women are equal. They should be in the workplace. That's what Martin Branner believed, and that's what he would convey in his comic strips, which was unheard of back then. It was uh, this, the, the, the comic strip was really a success in Chicago and New York that the character continued to appear for more than 70 years until 1996. Now, Winnie changed a great deal over the years. She married, had children, lost husbands, ran her own company, and so on. For some, uh, the, the, the strip was at its best in the 1920s stories, when she worked as a secretary or steno stenographer for Mr. Bibbs. At home, Winnie's mother worked equally hard while her father did all he could do to avoid getting her job. He never he never tired of living off of his daughter back then, just as her many bosses found ways to slack off while at the office. Surprisingly, Winnie was based on Branner's own wife, who worked with her husband in the production of the cartoon strip. From 1926 to 1928, there were 10 Winnie Winkle, the breadwinner movies that were produced, that were written and uh, by Branner and starring um, Ethel and Gibson as Winnie, with Billy West as the director. So... Winnie Winkle sprang from the, you know, from Martin Branner. That was, you know, kind of his baby, his creation. And the inspiration for the comic was his longtime wife, Edith. And here is the grave of Mr. Branner. A revolutionary. Helped change the way, I think, of the way America thought about women. And maybe he didn't even notice. Maybe he didn't think he didn't do much maybe he just thought it's just a comic strip but believe but believe me it definitely has its place in history so martin and edith they met when they were 18 and 15 they were married for uh you know for 15 years and they were really on a vaudeville circuit as a dance team and martin at that time left the theater to serve in world war one in a uh, the Chemical Warfare Service. He was exhausted, quite honestly, by tapping out two and three shows a day 
uh, on the circuits that um, he began developing his talent for drawing and the rest they say is history there you see the grave of Mr. Uh, Branner and his wife again and uh, the Winnie Winkle uh, comics as it appeared you know this mindset look in of America was a lot different than you know what it is now now it's common to have two incomes uh, you know for women to be working uh, back then it, they you know the male dominated workplace did not want uh, a female in the workplace and you know we, uh, women didn't have many rights you know, remember just a month before like we said earlier in the story uh, you, you, you women were just allowed to vote just one month before imagine that imagine that and imagine just a comic uh, I think making a whole making a difference in the United States you know comics you know uh, there, there's some legendary comic strips but, uh, you know, now, I don't even know how many people actually read the papers um, just with the wave of the internet and smartphones and all that. But the grave of Mr. Martin Branner, uh, a revolutionary, a person that helped change the mindset of America. I hope all is well, and I look forward to speaking to you guys very, very soon. And pick up Winnie uh, the Winkle. It's a pretty good comic.